Hi, welcome to We Mean Business, a fun and educational show featuring businesses all throughout the greater Toronto and Hamilton regions. We show you, the business owners, and what makes them exceptional in what they do. On this week's program, Lorianne, we're going to have a look at a $100,000 wheel alignment machine and why it's important to put nitrogen in your tires. We're also going to find out the latest trends and designs when renovating your home, especially in the kitchen. Now, speaking of homes, we're going to talk to a real estate agent with over 30 years worth of experience because she has some pretty cool stories to share with us. And affordable access for you if you need to find a lawyer, a real estate lawyer, business lawyer, possibly even a criminal lawyer. Criminal. Cool. So come join us now for We, we Mean, mean business. business. It's really important to take care of your vehicle so it takes care of you and it doesn't leave you stranded on the side of the road. It's also important to find an auto service technician you can trust. And I know just the guy in downtown Dundas, his name is Bruce Eccles, Eccles Auto Service. Welcome to the show. Great to see you again, Hal. You too, Bruce. Thank thanks, you. Thanks a lot for being part of the show. My so pleasure. You've been in a Tango part of Dundas for a very long time. Can you explain? I've been in Dundas fixing cars since 1975. And your first shop was what, around 1984? My first shop around was 1984. That was the start of our business and uh, we never looked back. So what are some of the big changes you've seen in the automotive industry over the years, outside of carburetors to fuel injectors? The automobile itself is a far safer vehicle than it ever was. Of course, you've got supplementary restraint systems, ABS brakes, you've got all kinds of features that automobiles just did not have that we have now that we have to contend with. Uh, not to mention DVD players and who knows what entertainment systems they're coming out with now. So the automobile has taken a dramatic change. And you've got a nice size shop. Can we go in the back and have a look? Absolutely. Okay, let's do that. Not a bad size shop in here, Bruce. You've got lots of light. And some nice vehicles are working on, including this newer Hyundai. They've come a long way, haven't they? They really have. They really have. And I'm looking at the valve stem there. It's a little silver valve stem as opposed to a black one. So what's, uh, why is it so silver? This, this vehicle came right from the manufacturer with nitrogen in the tires. Now, nitrogen is a pure dry gas, which keeps consistent pressure much longer. So the advantage is you don't have to check your tire pressures as often, which most people don't even check their tire pressures. So I can go maybe 50,000 K and not have to worry about a lot of air escaping and going flat? Potentially, yes. The other advantage is it's a dry gas, so you don't get the moisture buildup like regular air has. So there's sensors in these wheels, and there's, as you see, alloy rims, less chance of corrosion. And I'm sure anybody uh, that's had a slow leak in their tires been told it's leaking between the corroded rim and the tire bead. Now what about if I wanted to actually add air and mix it in with the nitrogen? Is that a problem? No problem. And nice to know, we sell nitrogen here, so we can do it for you. Drop by, we'll pop your tires off. Well, that's good. People seem to really like the convenience of these quickie lube places, Bruce. You know, you're in and out in 15 minutes to get an oil change, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Well, the reality of it is, with these long, longer service intervals with these vehicles now, they're going 10,000, 12,000, maybe even 15,000 kilometers per service. You can't do a proper service in 15 minutes. It's like going to your doctor for a physical, and the only thing he does is look down your throat. There's more to service in your vehicle than changing the oil and changing the filter. You've got a complete undercarriage inspection. You should be checking your steering, your suspension, your lights, your wipers, all your filters. And that is this kind of thing that needs to be done that you cannot do in 15 minutes. What about traditional versus synthetic oil? What are you a big believer in? The, here's the situation. The automobile manufacturer will tell you what oil goes in your vehicle. Now, it's very imperative that you stick to what the manufacturer says. Most of the new vehicles have a synthetic or a semi-synthetic blend now. So we just follow whatever the manufacturer recommends. In an older vehicle, if you want to run synthetic in it, fine. It's not going to do any harm. It is a better oil. See how the problem with a quick lube is they drive onto a ramp. The car's sitting there on the ramp, goes up in the air, super convenient, or over a pit. Now, the problem with that is it doesn't lower the suspension. You can't grab that wheel, find the loose ball joint, find the loose tire end, inspect the CV shafts properly, inspect your stabilizer links. In fact, really, if you think about it, your, half your car is uh, hidden because it's sitting on this drive-on ramp. Look what we got here. We got open to look at the drive shafts, look at the exhaust. We can check transmission for leaks. It's all right here, right in front of us because we've lifted it up properly. Now, we're looking at some used pads here. How can you tell when it's really worn out for your brake shoes? Well, how we have an actual brake pad gauge here, and uh, these ones here are, what, two millimeters. You can see even thinner there. This is pretty much ready to go steel on steel. So when I hear the grinding sound, that's not necessarily a good thing when Hell, I'm driving? That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing? Okay. When you're getting proper maintenance and proper services, we're going to check your brakes so that doesn't happen. So how many millimeters are we talking about for the new brakes? Well, here's a, a fairly new vehicle, and we're going to stick that gauge in there and me measure that inner pad, and it's sitting at uh, 10 millimeters, so substantially different. Now, I know a lot of people, they want to get the cheaper, the lower end brake pads versus the higher end. Like maybe a brake pads for under 10 bucks as opposed to some that are $59. Yes. Why not just stick with the cheaper ones? Well, the reality of it is your vehicle will not stop properly. These, 
This vehicle comes with what the manufacturer recommends for the proper pad. There's going to be the proper coefficient of friction between the pad and the rotor. It's all the engineers have all worked on that, okay? Now, you go down and buy a, uh, we'll say white box, for lack of a better term, 999 pads. Your vehicle will not stop as quick as the pads that come from the factory. Bruce, we're also looking at a rotor here, and it looks like it's in pretty bad shape. How can you tell when it's worn out? Well, this particular one, you can actually see the groove where it's worn in, much thinner now than it was when it came from the factory. Look at the groove there. But there's actually heat cracking in this rotor. This rotor's done its duty. It's gotten very hot, and it's cracked in many spots. So time for a new one. Hey, it's almost like a vinyl record. Throw a needle on it, you can hear the stories of the, the, the vehicle right. That's driver, right. right? Yep, and uh, it could be country and western. Who knows? <laughs> A lot of modern technology here at Eccles Auto Service as well. You'll run into one of the long-term auto service technicians, Jeff Taylor. Welcome to the show. Pleased to meet you. Now you've been with Bruce over 20 years, right? Almost 30. Actually, more than 30. Yeah. Yes. And you've seen a lot of toys come and go, including this one. What are we looking at here? Well, this is one of our better generic scan tools that we have. Um, we use this thing all the time for all kinds of different things, from resetting low tire lights, oil changes are performed. You have to reset the service light on the dash, to diagnostics for check engine lights, uh, aiming headlights, recentering steering wheels. A lot of people don't realize that they don't have uh, hydraulic steering anymore. They have electric power steering, electric power brakes. If you want to service those, you have to have a scan tool to get them to back off. And we use this all the time. So like you said, with the check engine light, I've had that issue many times before. And sometimes my gas cap is a little loose and that'll tell me what the problem is. Won't tell you what the problem is. It will send us in the right direction. All it is is a screwdriver. You have to still know how to do it. They haven't come up with the stuff yet that tells you exactly what's wrong. It's coming. And it, it will get here, but not yet. Okay, let's put this on. You want to help me out? Sorry, I got to yep. set it Jeff height, <laughs> not Hal height. There we go. There you go. I got it. You want to put the lug nuts on? There you go. Okay, Jeff, there's a lot of credibility with a lot of the auto service technicians here, including yourself. Uh, not just the experience, but I mean, you're taking courses to constantly upgrade your education, right? Yes, yeah, you have to continuously. Whether it's reading online, taking online courses, um, I was in Texas last year with a group of technicians from across North America. Some of the best training that I've had. Um, there's three or four good trainers here in Canada, um, but you have to continuously update. And you're also writing in magazines? I, mean... I write for a, a Canadian magazine. I write in a U.S. magazine. I'm a member of the Ontario Drive Clean Board, um, and I'm also with uh, OCOT, the Ontario College of Trades, because I was concerned about what was happening in our industry. Bruce, this is pretty cool. You've got this $100,000 alignment machine. How often should we get an alignment? I would say you should have the alignment checked at least once a year. Now, if you hit a bad pothole or run into a curb fairly hard, then you might want to check it immediately. So maybe about every 30,000 kilometers. Why is it really important, though, to get a wheel alignment? Well, number one, tire wear, but also the way the vehicle responds. In a collision avoidance situation, we've got to steer quickly. If the alignment's not right, the car may not handle properly. So explain what the vehicle actually goes through during the process here when we get a wheel alignment done. Well, these vehicles, uh, most of them nowadays, have a four-wheel alignment, which is all four wheels need to be adjusted. Now, what happens is this, in really simple terms, you want the car to go down the road straight, okay? Now, there's, there's what you've got, your camber and caster and tow, which we won't get into the technical aspects of how that works, but that's what we check. So we want to put it back the way it came from the factory. Okay, so to prevent any uneven tire wear on the outside and the inside, maybe in the middle? Correct, correct, okay. yeah. I guess it's also a safety feature as well too, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, if the car's the alignment's out, the car's not going to handle properly. It's Eccles Auto Service in the heart of downtown Dundas since 1984. Bruce, thanks a lot for joining us at We Mean Business. My pleasure, Hal. My pleasure. And for more information, make sure you give them a call or check out their website. What if I were to tell you that there's affordable access to the legal system for both families and businesses? We're here to find out more about that today with Rick Messier from Legal Expense Canada. Welcome, Rick, to We Mean Business. Thank you. So, Rick, how would you describe Legal Expense Canada? So, at Legal Expense Canada, we're insuring legal fees for families and small business owners. Traditionally, this type of insurance has been sold to groups, employer groups, and professional associations. It's a fairly new product in Canada, and now we're releasing it to families and small businesses to buy on a standalone basis. We have 1,900 lawyers under our panel firms, and these are big name panel firms in all the major cities across Canada. It's a very tough process to get on our vendor list through the insurance company that is backing the product. 
There is no ambulance chasing firms, and it's a very strict vetting process to get into our legal panel firm. Our clients all pay into a very small pool, almost like a shared economy. It's a very small amount per year, and we will pay up to a large amount of your legal fees. So legal expense insurance actually began in Europe back in 1928. So how did it come here? Legal expense insurance did come from the UK. Legal Expense Canada was formed about a year ago. I was going through a home renovation myself where I had bought a, bought a new house, renovated it, and the contractor that we had hired after going through a, a good vetting process ourselves, interviewing four different contractors, finally picking one, uh, we ran into some major, major issues with this contractor. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've got this great insurance product and we need to make it available to all Canadians because we really got taken advantage of by this contractor. They left us high and dry, no place to live, no place to go, recently married, about to have a child. And I thought to myself, this can't happen to any other Canadian. So I formed the company. So joining us now is Catherine Ferrente from DAS Canada. So how are you associated with Legal Expense Canada? DAS Canada is the insurance company that provides all of the underwriting and claims management for the insurance products that are provided by Legal Expense Canada. So when a client has a claim, we're the ones that actually provide the law firms and do the settlement on the claims for his clients. So Catherine, can you give us a couple of claim examples? Sure, I can provide you with several examples on where the policy through Legal Expense Canada would help their insureds. With regard to a contract that may have gone bad, whether they're having some work or renovations done on their home, a holiday that's gone bad, they may have a traffic ticket through the Highway Traffic Act, and rather than the client taking a day off work to go to court, we'll provide a lawyer to do that on their behalf. At tax time, if they experience an audit or they have to appeal a decision by the CRA, again, we will provide professionals to help them do that. And the policy will cover all the legal fees. So for example, we did have a, a client where they booked a holiday down south. They were promised a five-star venue. It was going to be an absolute dream holiday for the policyholder and their family. They got down there and the hotel was less than a one-star. And it was a total disappointment. So DAS was able to provide a lawyer to go ahead and help them and the insured ended up getting their holiday refunded plus additional credits from the travel agency and the airline. So then we paid all of the legal fees to help them get back to where they were before the holiday so they could enjoy another. A client may experience a traffic violation under the Highway Traffic Act. Perhaps they were speeding or not wearing their seat belt. Now we would provide a lawyer to go to court on their behalf. The client doesn't even have to take the day off work. So here in Canada, the average lawyer costs about $400 an hour just for legal advice. That's not the case with Legal Expense Canada. One of the primary pieces on the policy that's available is unlimited telephone legal advice. At any time, an insured can contact an 800 number, leave their name, policy number, and what's their question. And they can book a time to have a lawyer in the specialty of their question, then call them back. Once they have that lawyer on the line, there's no limit to the length of the telephone call, there's no limit to the questions that they can ask, and the client can do this numerous times through the year. There's no limit to how many times they can access this. It allows the client to be proactive rather than reactive in situations. I mean, how many times have you wished you could contact a lawyer for free legal advice and never receive an invoice? We started a small business a few years ago and legal fees are a very, very expensive part of starting that business. We bought a legal expense insurance policy as a way to get around some of those fees. We have access to amazing lawyers who can answer questions 24-7 about contracts, employees, anything we need to know in running our business. Jeffrey is a part of the legal expense team. What would you say are some of the rewards for being a part of Legal Expense Canada? Well, the greatest reward we have is that we're actually serving an altruistic nature. We're doing something for a greater good. So. For a small amount of money, people can save themselves from getting into a lot of hot water and, and potential ruin. Who is it that you help with Legal Expense Canada? I'm working with large groups and associations. Those represent uh, small businesses, families, uh, large groups of employees, professional organizations. And these are people that could be ruined by a legal bill of fifty to $100,000. So Rick, you really are looking out for the little guy. 
Absolutely. We give our clients access to justice against the Goliaths that are trying to take advantage of them. Wow, that's incredible. I just want to thank you again for being here on the show today. And if you want to know more about Legal Expense Canada, you can definitely give them a call or you can check out their website. When you're looking at buying or selling your house, you want to make sure that you work with a real estate agent who has a lot of experience, can get the job done, and is very professional. I know just the lady, her name is Loretta Finney with Roy LePage, been in the game over 30 years. Welcome to We Mean Business, Loretta. Thank you. Yeah. So you've been in the game a very long time. Why did you get involved in real estate? Well, I had a passion for real estate, always have. I used to go into open houses on the weekends. I used to study what was for sale. I'd phone the realtor, what did it sell for? Then I thought I should get in it full time, which I did. That was 32 years ago and I still have the same passion and love for it. Oh, that's amazing. So tell me about some of the changes you've seen over those three decades. Well, I think uh, technology has been great and uh, that has helped us a lot in our business. And also I think it has uh, made our business much better that we can deal with the clients instead of always searching things on our own with just a button and the listings come up. Yeah, That's apps and uh, the technology, like you said, yeah. has really helped a lot, hasn't oh, it? Oh yes, for sure. And everything's instant. We can take pictures in the home and get it to our marketing department, get it printed almost in a day. All the brochures, everything, so it's really great that way. So even though the industry has changed a lot over the years, Loretta, you still like to have a real hands-on approach when it comes to your clients, don't you? Yes, I do. I came into the business because I liked houses, but now I find I really enjoy the people. Their stories, everything about them, I really enjoy that. I don't want to take that away. So I do try to get involved with every uh, property that we list. When I first met Loretta, um, we were building our house and she expressed an interest in uh, helping us list it. And when the time came, um, my wife and I interviewed a number of agents and uh, Loretta was the one that said she could get us the most money. And she listed it about 300000 above what all the other agents suggested. She got almost the full amount, which really impressed us, in five or six days. Now, I think most other agents were just looking to, uh, say, sold in two days above asking, which Loretta wasn't interested in. She was interested in getting us our best, our best buck. So uh, we were very happy with her. I would recommend them to anybody. Uh, I've used realtors in the past and uh, by far uh, outstanding team to work with. They went out of their way to set me in the right direction and it was very upfront about what I should do and shouldn't do to stage my home properly and uh, it was just, just outstanding working with them. Now it's really important for you as well Loretta to have your family involved in your career with the real estate business and so why is that? They've really enhanced my career. They, uh, every time they come they bring new ideas, new technology and it's really helped me a lot. You know they say teachers don't like to be surpassed by their students. I have been surpassed by my children and I'm proud of it. So I found the son, Michael Finney, with Loretta Finney and her team with Royal LePage. The prodigal son has returned home, Michael. Yes, I'm here. I'm back home. That's good. So. Now you're involved in real estate. What made you get involved in the game anyway? Well, I always loved houses, just like Loretta, and I was always taken around to open houses, around during offer presentations, so a lot of it came as osmosis. But, you know, I really like the fact that you, you get to help people and build the relationships and no one really had done that better than my mother and to be able to carry that on was, was important to me. I also uh, thought that, you know, being able to control my own schedule, having that flexibility and really it's my own destiny in, in real estate on, on how I do in the business. So Michael, for you, how have you seen a lot of the technology changed and how has it helped you? Everything's instantaneous. We have so many websites now that we go to and we use the social media as soon as a listing gets loaded. We have our own website. Royal LePage has a very uh, active website. We do international advertising to bring international buyers into our, to our listings. And then uh, all that happens almost instantaneous. Uh, so it's, it's almost a recipe for every listing that we do. And uh, it's really helped our business and our exposure. But nothing really replaces a handshake, and that's what my mother's built throughout the years. I always thought it would be fun to work for a family business. Growing up, I watched my dad and his two brothers, who were builders, grow a successful business from the ground up. 
So to be given that opportunity to work alongside not only my husband, but my in-laws and my sister-in-law, and now even my sisters joining the business, I thought would be a great opportunity. I'm from Hamilton and the surrounding area, so I thought bringing that knowledge to the team would be so beneficial, especially since nowadays most people from the GTA are migrating west to places like Hamilton. I got involved in the business because when I was growing up, our, my family moved a lot. We were transferred between Halifax to Burlington, Oakville, back to Dartmouth, then to Mississauga. So we moved quite a lot. I got into a career working with people and it just seemed like a natural progression to get into the family business. The average homeowner actually moves every four and a half years. And with those moves, um, 14 jobs are created. So whether it be um, a real estate lawyer, a painter, a contractor, there is other industries that are affected. So we always have to be on our game. Loretta, you must have some pretty cool stories to share being a realtor for over three decades. Yes, for sure. I think the funniest one that I can remember is uh, we do drone shots. So we said, would this weekend be fine? They said, yes. I said, it should be sunny. Let's send them around. So about two or three in the afternoon, we sent them around. A couple of hours, I got a call back from the lady and she said, Loretta, when the drone came, we were nude in the hot tub. She said, we couldn't get out because we had nothing on. So we just <laughs> went down into the water to our necks. Stories so, like that. So you, you have a lot of funny stories, but I bet you have a lot of rewards as well being a real estate agent. Oh yes, for sure. I really appreciate it when the clients really love the home that I chose for them. and. Uh, we do it as a, a team, you know, and uh, they like that and they show me their appreciation. They refer me to their friends and relatives. Sometimes they say, now can you find my kids a home? That's really nice. It makes it all worthwhile. You even created a nice slogan as well because yeah. of all those rewards. They come like clients, they leave as friends, and then they come back as family. I love that. Loretta, thanks so much for joining us thanks. on We Me Business. Thank you. <laughs> for more information, make sure you check out their website or give them a call. Renovation shows are incredibly popular on television today and many Canadians are looking to renovate their home. A highly qualified company that I highly recommend is Georgian Renovation and here to join me right now is Jean Maida, the founder and the president of this wonderful company. Welcome to We Mean Business, Jean. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So Jean, tell me, why, why this? Why the show? Why here today? Well, we're the only renovator at the Interior Design Show, and we're here because we firmly believe that luxury can't just be talked about. You have to come in and experience it. So, Jean, as a successful business owner as yourself, what are some of the main responsibilities for you? As the owner of the company, it's my job to manage the team so every job comes in on time, on budget, with a happy customer. My customers are always telling me how fearful they are and how concerned they are about doing a renovation. So as a solution, I develop a 10-step process that provides them with trust so they can complete their homes and make their dreams a reality. So Jean, give me a little bit of history about your company and what sets you apart from the competitors out there. Our company is family owned and operated. We've been 50 years in business and have won many awards. We've also have 10,000 families living under our roofs. We're the only renovator that has two showrooms where we can showcase our luxury features and our quality. And I'm so confident in our company, we offer a fixed price contract with a five-year guarantee on our workmanship. So Jean, how did you get into the home renovating business? I was born to renovate houses. My father was in the business and we taught the business around the dining room table. I did my first job at 17 and I was hooked. I'm passionate about design and I'm passionate about construction. I went on to get my Master's of Business Administration in financing and marketing, which helped me grow my business in a professional manner. So Jean, I see you're very passionate, but I wanna know what inspires you to get up every day and, and go and do what you do? I love to make a difference in people's lives, and that's why I created the 10-step process. I'm inspired by the final designs and the look on people's faces when they see the final product. So why renovate? Why not just purchase a newer home? Buying a new home isn't for everyone. Some people really like the neighborhoods they live in, their schools, their family live there, their friends live there, and they don't want to leave your neighborhoods. And then there's a lot of hidden costs in a new home, such as HST, commissions, land transfer tax, and other things that people don't realize. And these all things are dead money to the home buyer. 
rather than spend that kind of money, they'd rather invest in their homes, update their homes, and get all the modern features, and not go through the hassles of moving. My husband and I purchased this home 15 years ago. We fell in love with the neighborhood. There's a beautiful trail in the back. Um, it's close to our parents' homes and our children's schools. I wanted a home that was open concept and reflected our lifestyle. The reason that I chose to renovate as opposed to moving was that I really liked the area. I just did a renovation a few years back and put in a swimming pool and did the front and back landscaping. This house when I moved in was going to be my last home and I didn't want to move anymore. When I renovated I wanted a wow effect that represented me. So when I entertain, when my friends come over, I just wanted everybody to come in and go, wow. I decided to do some research on Georgian and soon I realized that this was not a typical run-of-the-mill building company. I was very impressed with their design build process. The hardest thing for me was to pick a builder because I had had some problems before when I was doing a renovation outside but from Georgian it was let's take a look at this let's take some measurements what do you really want they listened to what I had to say come in come and see what they did to my home because it's unbelievable you want details you want family coming in every day you know what they got the full package the whole team are amazing if anyone ever asked me it would definitely be Georgian So Jane, how can I increase the value of my home in a smart renovation? The best way to increase the value of your home is to add space. Either an addition, a second story top up, or finishing the basement. Also, bringing your home up to code is very important. Women love open concept, and that's great for resale. So Jane, what's the next step in renovating my home? How do I get started? Where do I begin? Lori, it all starts with in-home consultation. There's no charge. Jump into our 10-step process and let our designers turn your dreams into reality. So visit us at one of our two showrooms or online and register for a free consultation and let us put a little love in your home. Our company realized that the housing stock in the GTA is getting older and the supply of new houses is shrinking. So the demand to renovate existing houses is getting greater. The subdivision houses built in the 80s are getting to be 40 years old and need to be brought up to current building standards and lifestyles. It's an absolute pleasure to go work every day. I work for a company that's been around for over 50 years and I myself have been in the industry for over 30 years. In order to see the clients' faces light up after we've completed their project, we not only renovate their home, we actually renovate their lifestyle. So if you're looking for more information on getting started on a smart home renovation, make sure to reach out to Georgian Renovation and you can check them out on the website or you can give them a call on the number you see on the screen. Gene, thank you so much for being on We Mean Business. My pleasure.